Hello everyone, take two. I was just on live, but um, we had some interruptions and unfortunately I couldn't continue. So today we are September 3rd, 2024. And I am here with you all. We are going to be talking about the Fall Accelerator Program. But before we talk about the Fall Accelerator Program, I am going to share with you that this morning, my day one, my forever, the woman who literally gave me life. I mean, the only thing that she didn't do was push me, but the woman with the arms to which I sit in, she left this world this morning and she went into the other world. Um, I was sharing a little bit about that experience before we started it, before I was rudely interrupted. Um, so we're going to push in. I just really, I, I know that I didn't want to just come live and pretend that everything is going well in my world, but also I think that, you know, I got to see the end. I got to be with her all weekend. She was really unwell. Her body was very tired. The body literally was just, was unable to, um, just to do anything. You know, last year she gave us two scares. I fought tooth and nails to make sure that she was going to be here. But this time around, I just felt like she was extremely tired. You know, it was a very, very difficult year for her. Um, she suffered a operation and, you know, with the way that the country of IT is just transporting her to the hospital and everything. I'm just really honored that I got to be with her. I literally spent my entire life with her. Those last, those last two years were really hard because her health completely declined. But even when her health completely declined, I got to be with her. I got to talk to her. I, I, I got to really, um, you know, kind of like absorb of all of her energy even last night, you know, I felt it come in. Um, so in a way I am very, um, kind of like oof, relaxed because I did everything that I could, that was in my power for her. Last night we baited her, we changed her, but you know, last night I could see that she was really unwell. I woke up in the middle of the night to check on her, to make sure that she was still breathing. This morning, early in the morning, I jumped out of my bed to check on her to make sure that she was still breathing with me. But unfortunately, um, she didn't make it. Okay, she left us. And I always say, I will to her. I will go to you, Matifine. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the courage. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I did tell her that before she left. Oh, my God. Before I put her down, you know, she died. Um you know, in front of me. So I'm, I'm honored, you know, she died in front of someone she loved in front of someone that she cared for her in front of someone who just was there for her. So now her body is going to be resting. You know, it's so funny guys, because she was in such pain, but when finally, you know, she was gone, it's kind of like her entire face was at peace. It felt like she was no longer suffering. It felt like, you know, oof, you know, finally. And I feel like, you know, she, I was, I was fighting and I was just telling her one of her cousin this last night and the cousin, I was sharing with the cousin how she felt, um, um, you know, how the body was. And the cousin said, I don't, I'm going to be really honest with you. Um, don't expect too much. Um, because at the rate that she is declining, anything can happen. And I said, no, she's going to make it. I'm going to make sure that I keep her here. And I did say that, um, I felt like it was a little selfish because I could tell, I mean, she's with me 24 seven and I could tell that she was just, and she fought, she fought a lot. I could tell that she wanted some like peace, you know, but, um, you know, guys, I'm going to share something with you. This is really not the live, but you know, the American culture has a very different culture because I remembered when my neighbor died, um, his wife never opened the door. So I believe that in the American culture, when you have someone who's dead, you never kind of like bother the person. You leave that person to grieve. 
Um, I don't really think that I'm taking so well the uh, culture of Haiti at this point where it's kind of like you just lost a loved one and it's you're getting bombarded. It's kind of like people are already starting to come visit you. It's kind of like give us some time to breathe. It literally happened this morning. Don't come knocking at my door. Don't come calling me like, give me peace. I'm okay. I don't need to speak to you because at the end of the day, she was here. Where were you? Like, let me be, you know? Ugh. Anyways, I really wanted to share this with you because at the end of the day, we are going to be honest and open. It's, um, you know, it, it's heart wrenching. Um, it's not only that when you lose a love, uh, a loved one, but it's heart wrenching when you lose someone who represented everything for you in your life, someone who gave you her strength, someone who gave you her courage, someone who was there for you. Um, if today, like I would always tell her, if you have such a niece who is so well put together, who is a boss lady, you are at 100%. It is your courage. You know, the woman that you guys have in front of you, it is her courage. All right. So with that being said, let's talk a little bit about the fall accelerator program, what it is and why are we doing it? What are the participants going to learn? When does it start? When does it end? And all of that. So first and foremost, I want to tell you that this is a program that is dedicated solely for well, for when I say for entrepreneur, I also mean that it's a program that is dedicated for um, creative people. If you are in the creative field, so it doesn't necessarily have to be that it's a program that is dedicated for entrepreneur. It's a program that is de dedicated for people who are in the creative field, who need the support, who need the coaching and who need the mentorship. It is an accelerator program because it is only 20 one days, meaning that we are working in 21 days. This is not a program that is more than 21 days. It is designed as such in order to support you and to really make sure that you can do certain exercise really fast, right? So it is a program that you want to be a part of if you have the time to dedicate to all of the work that we are going to be doing in 21 days. It is a pretty much a, I wouldn't say that it's a heavy program, but I would say that it's a program that is full. So it is a full pack program. When you enter this program, it is not a program where you will have nothing to do. No, you have access to assignments. You have access to books, to reading guide. You have access to articles and you'll have access to workshop development. There is so much that you have access to. Right. So if you are not going to dedicate the time to put in the effort during those 21 days, you may not want to be a part of this program because I really want to stress that out that it is a fast paced program, but it is really good. The amount of work and knowledge that you are going to gain during those 21 days is going to be amazing. Trust me. I am the one who worked on the program because I really wanted to make sure that people had access to good information, creators, entrepreneurs. As an entrepreneur myself, I can be very honest and tell you that this is a route that I'm literally winging out until the last five years. You know, I had to really understand it. I had to know what it was. And I feel like it's really commendable for someone like myself who didn't have necessarily the support, the coaching, the mentorship. But now look at this. It's like my caring and giving nature is in a position where I actually want to dedicate the time and where I actually want to make sure that people have access to information that I didn't have access to. Correct? So when is this program going to start? The program starts on September 23rd. And it is expected to finish on October 14. I really want to stress out that I want all of my participants to be bosses and to be able to complete the program in 21 days. 
that's the goal. The goal is to make sure that you are able to do all of those assignments, all of those reading guides in 21 days. That is the program, correct? So we start the program on September 23rd. What are What is the focus on this program that we're doing in the fall? The fall, we are going to be focusing on entering any competition, entering any contest. Ladies and gentlemen, I really want to apologize if you are going to hear any noise because, you know, there were a couple of people outside that are coming back and um, maybe you might just hear a couple of noise. So I just really want to give you a little heads up and ask you that you forgive me a little bit. Look at this. I just got a mic, but I forgot to adjust the mic. There's a lot going on in my mind. I forgot to um, adjust the mic on, on the phone, but I think you guys are going to hear me pretty well. So as I was saying to you, um, we are going to start the program on September 23rd and the program is expected to be finished on October 14, giving us exactly 21 days. What will this program focus on? This program is going to be focusing on entering any contest. This is for people because as an entrepreneur, you are constantly looking for funding. But as you are looking for funding, you are also competing. You're, you're looking for contests because as an entrepreneur, it is part of your route to compete. You compete when there's a contest. This year, I am going to work a lot with my participant and making sure that they are entering contests and making sure that they know how to compete, how to do healthy competition. So this is going to be the focus of the program. But as we are focusing and so competing, I want my participants to, we are going to be focusing on how to maximize your time. Because look at this, look at this, um, um, how can I say this? Um, I mean, I, literally I have a death that came today, correct? And I could have easily said that, well, I am not going to work. Maybe if it was a sudden death, but as an entrepreneur, I understand that if I don't put myself out in, if I don't continue to do my work, it's not going to get done. So I can't put it off. I de you know, I had the pleasure and the comfort of spending time with my aunt last night, all this morning. I had the comfort to see the people come and take her body and leave with her. And, you know, now it's time to put in the work and it's time to do the work that I have to do for myself. Because if I don't put myself out there, if I don't stand up, if I don't come to you and I don't express, then it's not going to get done. And I express that with you um, with maximizing your time. It's very important to know how you're going to maximize your, maximize your time as an entrepreneur. You know, the, the route to entrepreneurship, it's not a route that is fun. I'm very, very sorry. This is for anyone who is considering this route or who feel like, oh, I don't want a nine to five. I want to work for myself. Well, the reality is that you have so many hats that you wear when you are an entrepreneur. If you don't wear those hats, you literally have to delegate and you have to hire people to do these things, right? I wish, I think that I watched a video. I think it was either a TikTok, a reel, or a short video. I can't remember of a woman who was saying that she regret that she quitted her job to do her nine to five because one year into trying to make it, she felt like she couldn't do it because she didn't have the funds. And as she felt like she didn't have the fund, you know, when you don't have the money and you have your electricity, you have your bills, you have this, you have that, that you have to pay for, it becomes a really overwhelming. So it's important to understand that if you are someone who is considering to enter this route as an entrepreneur and you are someone who is working, I would never advise anyone to quit their job and jump into the route to entrepreneurship just like that. Absolutely not. There are other ways for you to maximize on your job that you have already and to also maximize on your time on your job so that you can make that transition. And at times, if you want to, you can even have your employer become some a sponsor. We touched on that last summer, this summer, 
when I did the summer accelerator program and when I really wanted to under make sure that people understand that, you know, when you're looking for funding, a lot of times, you know, people who are, you know, hiring you, they may be able to sponsor you. They may be able to give you the funding that you need, especially if you're not trying to compete with them. If they're looking at what you're doing and they feel like what you're doing is a success, a lot of time your place of employment can be that for you. So we're going to work a lot on how to maximize your time. People don't really understand how to dedicate the appropriate time to what they're doing because being an entrepreneur is also not working 24 seven, correct? You need time to rest. It's like you're literally managing your time. You don't have a boss who is telling you, okay, this is, you know, how many hours of rest that you have. You don't have an employer who is going to give you bonus check. You don't have an employer where you can, you know, have a timesheet and request time off. Those are things that you have to determine. You have to know the times that you feel like, okay, I can do X, Y, Z. And you have to know the time that you have to allocate for personal use, maybe for your family, for yourself. You have time that you need to allocate to rest as well. You have time where you need to decompress and not constantly be working. So we are going to be working on how to maximize your time. We're actually going to have a workshop on that and we'll have an article on that as well. Now, I am also going to be focusing on building self-esteem because as an entrepreneur, as an individual, it's important for us to have very good and high self-esteem. A lot of the times we don't have those self-esteem because they were not englobing to us. People did not teach us or along the way, maybe we have some issues with ourselves. Maybe we're looking at ourselves and we are feeling like, okay, I don't have X, Y, and Z. I know so many people who had so many great ideas from the time that, you know, we were like in um, college, you know, from the time where I remember it was like 2021. 20, like, listen, we all had good ideas. We all knew what we were going to do. Now, what is the difference between, let's just say, someone like myself who is literally forging and what is the difference between the other ones? The difference is the belief in yourself, the belief in your skills, because you have to learn how to jump as an entrepreneur. As an entrepreneur, you, you, you got to jump, you know, I, you know, it, it's important to jump. You're not going to constantly have people to hold your hand at some point. If this is what you want, you got to lunch at some point, you got to post your flyer. At some point you have to present your music. At some point you have to showcase your talent. So it's important for people to have good self-esteem because if you don't have the self-esteem and you are going to compete where it's like, it's gonna, it's gonna show right. A healthy competition. It's, it's bringing your all into the table is radiating. It's having fun with the other contestant. It's also teaching the other contestant about maybe little tricks that you know, because like I was saying in the last live, judges are everywhere. I remember the first competition, regional competition that I attended was the Caribbean Innovative Challenge Contest in 2013. And it was a contest for all Caribbean. And I remembered, you know, there were a lot of judges that were in disguise, meaning that we didn't know that there were judges because all you had to do, you had to present your project and people were the first round because it was a three-day event. That's how it was. The competition was the competition was a three-day event and people were just going around and talking and visiting your table. And I remember going around and even myself, when I had nobody in front of me, with nobody at my table, I would talk to another contestant when people needed something. If I had something on my table, like I would share. And when I got to compete because the third day you had to be in front of a panel. I got judged because of that. And everybody said, oh my God, like we were watching you and the way that you were interacting with all the other contestants, the word, the way that you were engaging with all the other contestants, we felt like it was so big. We felt like it was so kind of like really admirable. It's important because why we are all competing. A lot of us, we have different projects. We are not bringing the same projects. 
So why are you going to give? Why are you going to be stingy with what you're doing? The competition doesn't stop at the day. The competition continues, meaning that you don't know who you're going to impress. You don't know who's watching you. And we, this is another aspect of this accelerator program that I am going to be focusing on because it's kind of like when you are done with the competition, you don't know who you, who you have impressed, right? You don't know who saw you, who watched you, and you left a high impression on that person. So now, even when, even when you didn't make the winning team, these people are still looking at it like we're going to support you because of the impression that you made. Because it could be that someone who won and who made the winning team, okay, they get the money. Okay, they get the resources. But maybe they didn't make those lasting impressions. Maybe they didn't make those connections during the contest. Maybe they didn't pick and see who exactly is going to be there for them, for them to have those, you know, connection. So the program is really going to be focusing on that and to teach you how to decipher people's undertone, but to also teach you how to connect with people. We're going to be working on that as we are teaching you how to build your self-esteem. Give me a second. I have actually my stuff in front of me. Okay. I am going to be working a lot on presentation, guys. Presentation is big. And even with myself, I'm a little proud because those last two years, I did feel that, okay, you know what? I really need to up my game when it comes to my presentation online. I need to make sure that I'm doing things up to par. I need to make sure that when people are checking my work, they are feeling really good about the presentation of my work. So we're going to be working on that. We're going to be working on how to have a presence online, how to present yourself online, but also how to always get a good presentation, the art of presentation. We're going to have a workshop on that. And I do believe that you guys will have um, an article on that as well. Okay. So what exactly are you going to have access to when you participate in this program? As I mentioned to you, this is a full program, guys. This is not a, um, I don't want to say that this is not an easy program, but this is a full program. So you are going to put in the work. You are going to put in the effort. It may feel like you've entered school for those of you who've been out of school, because I don't like at all this, um, notion or this, um, I don't want to say this notion. How can I say um, I don't like at all when people are saying things like, I don't want to go to school. I want to become an entrepreneur that like being an entrepreneur means that you have the necessary skill set that you, that you have the necessary skill set. You have the necessary knowledge. You have the talent. You are equipped to become an entrepreneur. So if you don't have you may not enter a traditional school, but I love school guys. Like now that my aunt had, has gone to the other world, I am free to do whatever I want. Um, and I really want to go back to school. I've been saying that because school, depending on the school that you enter, will give you the techniques. Never be afraid as an entrepreneur to enter school. Never be afraid to pay for classes because you are literally pouring knowledge into you and the right program is going to give you the expansion that you need in order to master yourself. So why wing it out? Why struggle along the way if you feel like you need the support and the, and the help? So I don't really like, I've never liked that. I've never liked the notion of people believing that and the, being an entrepreneur equates to not going to school. Absolutely not. Matter of fact, you are constantly learning. You are literally constantly learning because when you have, you know, let's just say that you go to school, um, you enter a program for your school, and then after that you go for your master's or maybe you go for a PhD, and then you grow within a work employment, correct? You grow within a work employment until you make the senior level head 
but you're still growing. A lot of the times as you are still growing into that aspect, right? A lot of the times as you are still growing into that aspect, what happens is that you can, um, how can I say you can, your employer is going to empower you, right? The employer now is going to invest. The employer is going to send you to um, self-development programs or the employer is going to invest in you because investing in you means that now they are going to be able to reap the rewards because you're going to be a better employee at their work. You're going to be able to um, provide more. You'll have more knowledge. You have more experience. When you are an entrepreneur, you have to do that for yourself because you don't have an employer who's going to be doing these things for you. So you have to do that for yourself. You have to pour into yourself as an entrepreneur. You have to understand where you lack certain, um, certain things. So you have to kind of like, uh, you lack certain skill set, but those skill sets are needed for you to grow. And you feel like, okay, I'm going to invest in myself. I'm going to participate into the seminar. I am going to participate into this webinar. I am going to participate into this program because I actually want to further my knowledge. I really want to further my knowledge. I want to further everything that I've learned. So that's the trick. So yes, you are constantly learning. So when you enter a program from the youth agency, I always want to stress this out for you. When you are entering a program from the youth agency, I want you to understand that you are learning. I do not lecture. I provide a lot of information for all of my participants. So with this program, you're going to have access to four workshops development. I did say that it was three workshops. However, I do feel like I need to add the stress management because how am I going to teach you? Um, I feel like stress management is also really important for you to you know, handle your stress. How do you handle your stress during a competition? How do you prepare for a competition if you are stressful? So I do feel like you guys will benefit a lot from receiving this workshop. So we're going to add it. So the last week of the program is going to be pretty packed because instead of having access to one workshop development, you're going to have access to two workshops development. I am also going to be provided six articles for you. You're going to have access to four books. You're going to have access to a reading guide and you have, you're going to have to have access to four books, four reading guide and extra guide. Okay. Um, you're going to have access to, um, I said books we meet, you know, we, you're going to have access to private coaching almost daily. All right. Group coaching private coaching, and you're also going to have access to one-on-one -on -one coaching. Your one-on-one -on -one coaching, this is where we're going to go over the week. This is where we're going to go over your articles. This is where we're going to go over everything that you need to know if you have a, um, a question, if you need more explanation. This is pretty much a program that is self, um, you know, self-paced, meaning that everything is designed online. You'll have access to your weekly worksheet. You'll have access to the program overview. So you have to put, be able to put in the effort to stay on track with the ways in which you have to give back your assignment. Correct? You have to be able to do that. It's, it's pretty much designed for you to do everything, not at your pace, but everything self-explanatory. Of course, we'll have an introduction video. We'll have everything to teach you how the program is being run, correct? So when does this program start? The program is going to start September 23rd. Our registration is currently open and we have a payment plan only available with early registration, meaning if you feel like you wanted to have access to a payment plan, you got to be able to register early so that we can have a payment plan for you that's going to support you into making sure that you are paying the program, making sure that you are, you know, participating and having access to your books, having access to everything that you need. All right. What else can I say? Um, so I tell you that the reg, how do you register? How do you participate to register for this program? It's really simple. All you have to do is submit your, your email, youthagencyinternational at gmail.com. Pretty simple. 
That's all you have to do. Submit an email with the subject line saying fall accelerator program or interested into the program. And we're going to take it from there. Now, let's, let me go and um, say something else. I do know that I reside in the country of Haiti. And last summer, we had such an affluent of inquiries from people who are here in this country. I want to let you know that and this is a program that is open for anyone. So it doesn't matter where you are. If you are in the country of IT, if you are elsewhere, this is open for anyone. It is a program when you have access to the internet, you have access to either a phone, a laptop, a, um, a computer, any device where you can type, when you can work, when you can, you know, open, um, you have access to good internet, you can participate. Now, for my participants who are here in the country of IT, this is a program that is going to be English-based. Now, those of you who are here in the country of Haiti, if you feel that when we do our one-on-one, -on -one, I am completely and totally open to speak any language. The last participant that we had, they although a lot of them were in the U.S., but listen, when I met with them, it was okay because some of them were Haitian people. And we worked a lot in Creole, we work in English, it doesn't matter. But the information that I'm providing to you guys is written in the English language. So I really, really wanted to make sure that I stress that out. Now, for the people who are here in the Haiti, you have to remember, and I really want to make sure, it may seem a little unfair, but guys, I am preparing you to succeed. And I have to be aware of the reality. The majority of the contests that are open are going to be in the English language. It is important for you who live in the country of Haiti to have a good, uh, midi, I'll say like medium level to of the English language. The last contest that I participated in, which was in 2021, and it was the EWC, they are probably going to have it again this year. So those of you who want to participate in this contest, this is a great exercise, this fall accelerator program, the summer one. Those are great exercises for you to prepare yourself. You got to remember that those contests are only open in English. And even two years, or I think it was three years ago, when, um, you know, a lot of these contestants were telling me, you know, a lot of people, not even the contestant, were saying to me, you have to make sure that you can ask them if participants from Haiti can compete in another language. And it was really a struggle. It was really a struggle because, yes, IT, we speak French and Creole, but, you know, those competitions, babe, are happening in the English language. I am here to prepare people to be successful globally. So the language of the world is English. I work in English. All the materials that you're going to have access to are in English. When we do our one-on-one, -on -one, when we do our private coaching, I am absolutely open to be speaking our native language, I can talk Creole with you if that's what you understand better. I can also talk French if you understand that better. But do understand that when it comes to the workshops, when it comes to the books, when it comes to the articles, everything is in English. I really wanted to make sure. Plus, you know, the majority of the people who also, you know, were asking and who participated, even, you know, people who are in Haiti, everybody spoke English. And I was very impressed. I was really, really impressed with their level of the language. And I felt like, oh my God, this is right in my lane because I didn't really have to, I didn't get those inquiries. But just in case I need for a participant who are here in the country of Haiti or a participant who may be elsewhere who are looking at this like, okay, like how do I participate and which language? Do understand that this is a program that is going to be run in the English language. Now, of course, you know, when we do, again, our one-on-one -on -one coaching or private coaching, I am open to speaking the language of your choice. If it is Creole, that's really fine. If it is also French, that's also very fine. Now, for those of you who are going to ask me, what are the participation fees? I am not going to be disclosing that just because when it comes to Instagram, when you put in the fees, it attracts 
what do you call these people who hackers you know it, it does attract hackers so if you want to know the fee of the program you can just submit me a, um, an email and i will definitely provide that for you i may even provide our um, registration for you as well as a program overview so this was it ladies and gentlemen short and sweet where i wanted to present the program talk a little bit about the program tell you what it is going to be about tell you how many days who can be a part of it um thank you so much for being here with me i will be here with you again next week and perhaps next week when i come i will treat a subject i did say that i wanted to talk about healthy competition um, with everything that was going on in the background i didn't get a chance to prepare that for you guys i do apologize but i will be here next week maybe um actually next week i have to film because i had to film all of my workshops but i'll dedicate some time to stop by with you guys next week um and you know tell you a little bit more about you know a few subjects if you need any questions don't forget to don't don't hesitate to um submit your questions youth agency international at gmail.com thank you so much ladies and gentlemen i'm excited to do this this work i'm excited to be receiving you it's going to be a fun program it's going to be a rich program it's going to be a program where you are going to learn a lot okay so i i look forward to receiving your participation